It's true, it's true, it's true. I've murdered Vlogmas and I didn't mean to. Uh, so today's video is gonna be very, I was gonna say it's gonna be very exciting, but that's probably a lie. It might be mediocre exciting, but I at least wanted to come in and check in with you guys. <gasps> Oh, the Tamagotchi just went to sleep. I'll have a Tamagotchi confession later on in this video. I know I told you guys I was going to update y'all about that. Many updates today. Let me get another box because I don't feel like, is this normally this way? Do I normally not have a sassy bun because that is not very sassy? I'm back. That was driving me crazy. Uh, and that's a very, very short drive. Here's the story of Vlogmas and how it all went wrong. So the other day, the day before the follow me around where I missed today, you guys, I was so exhausted. Like all of these last minute Christmas errands, Christmas things to get done are literally like taking the wind out of me. Plus, I don't know if I mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I have full on reorganized my life. I was telling you guys how I've been on a very bad, like the worst of my life ever sleep schedule from at least like October, at least once we started um, Vlogoween. Like I literally was up all night into the next day and then I would kind of like just catch a strange cat nap and then wake up like way too far in the afternoon to actually like live life and get anything done properly. And so I don't remember how we did it, but about a week ago now we like flipped our sleeping schedule, but somehow we've like flipped it to where like I'm going to sleep way too early now and getting up way too early in the morning like we're literally getting up before the sun rises which is not good either because you know right now there's no businesses open at like 5 20 in the morning like there's there's no reason to be up at 5 20 in the morning I'm sure some people have reason uh we have no reason for that because it's not like we can run errands it's not like I can even really film videos at that time because especially during the winter it's pretty bleak like we don't really have a nice bright sunshine where I could get out and like film out of the days or anything like that it's just useless uh but then by like 11 midnight I am so exhausted it feels like I just cannot continue to function so that's what happened the day before the follow me around and then that day I woke up I had so much energy I filmed that video and I filmed an epic an epic Swamp Family Mail episode and I am dying to upload that video to you guys. But this crazy thing has been happening with our internet, which is why I've been gone for the past two days and this video is gonna be a nightmare to upload. This is why we need net neutrality, you guys. I am literally like panicked. I am panicked about this. I do not know what has been going on with my internet service provider. Actually, honestly, the service here ever since we moved has kind of borderline sucked. Like every month I go over my unlimited AT&T Wi-Fi data minutes because my phone will not keep a Wi-Fi connection. And it's not just like something wrong with this iPhone because this is my second iPhone to have since I've moved in here and neither of them will hold a wi-fi signal like i will literally just be in the middle of posting something or doing something or whatever and it just cuts out and then i have to switch over to data and it was happening so frequently that i just left it off wi-fi like i don't even try anymore because i just kept getting so irritated uh so there's not an, a month that goes by where i don't get a warning and how about that how about you pay for an unlimited service and it's not truly unlimited like i don't understand how these companies get away with this stuff. I scheduled an appointment with Xfinity and they were supposed to come out yesterday. Then for some reason they didn't come out yesterday. Thankfully they came out today. The guy that came out today was as nice as he possibly could be, as knowledgeable as he possibly could be. But I guess that the problem, I haven't even told you guys what the problem is. The Wi-Fi upload speed has been miserable. Like un fathomably bad and obviously like we have to pay for the highest speed internet because you know you never get as much upload speed as download speed because most people are concerned about like can I download things at a fast rate like not as many people like upload 
stuff. Do you know what I mean? We literally just went for top of the line package so that I can upload videos because you guys know I'm long winded as heck. So a lot of times my videos are like 20 minutes or longer. That's a lot of upload data. I try and upload every day. You guys get the picture. So I don't know what is going on. Sometimes the Wi-Fi goes out on the computer but I've got this like literal it's almost like a dial-up thing and normally I can always hardwire it into an ethernet port I guess is what it's called and it will upload fast so I can't like just walk around with a computer and upload it wherever but at least I can come in here in the office plug it in and get the video up to you guys about six days ago like it doesn't matter what length the video was if it was 10 minutes if it was 20 minutes I don't even know how long my last couple of videos have been but nothing like extremely long it just has been taking hours like the first day it was messed up it took over two hours almost three hours then it started taking five hours and then the last follow me around video that I uploaded took nine hours to upload I'm not even joking nine hours to upload and I feel like I'm just gonna fry my computer leaving it up burning all day and all night to like upload these videos so that's why we finally got a tech out here and like I said the guy was super nice he checked into some stuff and I guess there's like a system or something they can look up I don't know he was like on a phone and he looked it up and said that it's like a known problem that is somewhere with Xfinity they, they just have some problem they know it's a problem they're not seemingly rushing to fix it and I'm just like that's the kind of stuff that frustrates this was not meant to be like a ISPs are totally dishonest kind of vlog but ISPs are totally dishonest I'm just like wait how many people like in our neighborhood or surrounding neighborhoods also have Xfinity and we're just all paying for high-speed internet and we're paying for services that we're just not getting and like you have to call and ask them what's going on and then like I don't even know like I didn't even get an answer as to when it's gonna be fixed what is it gonna be fixed when is it gonna be fixed how is it gonna be fixed I don't know the next video like I said is a amazing swamp family mail video it was epic it was so much fun to film I cannot wait to share it with you guys but that's definitely a much longer video and there's just no hope like it's not <laughs> like I'm scared I'm about to have to just say goodbye because I know that this is just gonna take all day and all night to upload so it's just kind of up in the air right now I think I'm just gonna bum somebody else's Wi-Fi or somebody's internet we're gonna have to go to somebody else's house I don't know I just tried to upload it and it literally was just it's it's gonna take so long it didn't even come up with a time estimate as to how long it would take to upload it so definitely I'm frustrated and honestly I have just been so exhausted like the Christmas stuff has just been fun but very exhausting to like be out for hours like in the crazy Christmas crowds and I'm sort of like uh the entire family's Christmas elf because my dad always wants me to go Christmas shopping with him to help him uh find stuff for my mom and then my mom wants me to go with her to find stuff for my dad and then Dogman and I of course just do all the rest of our shopping for his parents and he buys presents for my parents and then sometimes we just buy each other presents like in front of each other because I don't know we're just like not big on like wrapping stuff like is that lame are we missing out on something by not wrapping things we just have fun just like shopping for each other with each other and then I'm also everybody's Christmas wrapping elf and I know I've probably talked about this before but literally I, I wrap my dad's presents for my mom I wrap my mom's presents for my dad and I just wrap everybody's presents and I have my own presents to wrap so uh tomorrow I'm gonna be like covered in tape also, please excuse that I'm not using these super bright lights tonight. Like, I seriously think the brightness is blinding me sometimes. I'm exhausted right now. Like, I'm physically exhausted. I am, like, just drained. I need a minute. And I thought I was going to be revived because last night, Dogman and I went to the Festival of Lights, which is this really cool light display in Galveston. It's at Moody Gardens. And there's so many fun animal lights to look at and everything. There's a gator. I know I'm going to post a picture of it on Instagram. But it's, like, a little fun tradition that we do and I was so glad we went yesterday because it was actually like 76 or something and I 
cannot stand to be outside when it's cold except for the one time recently when it was snowing I actually like enjoyed that I guess it's because I bundled up and it's like such a rare thing to see but if it's just like cold and nothing special is going on like I don't want to stand in that Tamagotchi update that's what's next so I didn't even get to show you guys once the first one died and you guys have been telling me that there's no way for these things to live past I think 14 days or 15 days and I think that that is a hundred percent confirmed because the first time around the original Tamagotchi that we had when I started vlogmas it never got sick once it was fine we took relatively good care of it except for like the night it snowed like there was like two nights I think where it went to sleep with some poops but it never got sick or anything and then I went out I was running errands I came back home and I asked Dogman. I was like where's the Tamagotchi because he like babysits the, the Tamagotchi for me I came back and I looked at it and it was literally like not an egg but like just a little round baby and I was like what happened um because I literally thought I was gonna be able to brag and be like I have a 17 day old Tamagotchi uh but he said he just just like looked down like it was fine and then it looked down and he just said it was like face down it was dead and he didn't want it to upset me so he just pressed restart while I was out running an errand and I had a brand new Tamagotchi he went to sleep before I could really show you guys we got the second uh second worst one this time if that makes any sense not the absolute worst one one up from that and I don't know so far so good so it's this one, the last one like died on day 15, so it's now like the 22nd right now. So that's how long this one has been alive. And you guys, I almost committed to buy a Devil Gachi tonight. I was literally like, once I got home from the shopping, I was like, I'm gonna come home, I'm gonna buy this Devil Gachi, and somebody else bought it. I couldn't even believe it. I found a red and white one, and I wanted it so bad, I was finally gonna buy it. And it was gone. I'm like, who is out here buying all these devil gachis? They're, they're senselessly expensive. I think we are gonna have fun with it if I ever do manage to buy one before it gets snatched up. Cause we've really been enjoying this one. It really does make me want to get an old one though and kind of like see what the differences are because this one is like really basic since you only basically like feed it, clean its poop and turn the lights out when it falls asleep. I remember the other ones like had games and you discipline them and blah, blah, blah. Like they got sick more than once. You actually had to like do stuff. These you don't really do stuff you know but it's still just kind of fun to have i'm just waiting for another devil gachi to come up for sale because most of the ones that are up right now are like literally too expensive like we've already had this discussion i know i know i know they're expensive um but like the ones that are for sale right now are like 688 dollars which is just insane just insane just too stupid too stupid uh and a lot of them for 688 dollars are like the screws are stripped on the back and it's held together with tape i'm like for 688 dollars this tamagotchi better be pristine like who is gonna buy a 700 dollar busted tamagotchi does that make any sense to you does that make any sense doesn't make any sense to me last bit of life news i think my new year's fitness is going to be lightsabers did i tell you guys this yet i seriously there's classes you can take and i'm so sad that it looks like the best ones that are actually like meant for fitness really what it is is they teach you like um what what is it like it's not like fencing obviously i used to do fencing i really miss that as well um but it's like you know aerobic uh stunts it's like stunt moves i think that i found a couple workshops that are like in march that I think dog man and I are gonna do it just sounds fun like I keep really every year I want to get into like some kind of fitness or training but I don't want something that's like lame and boring is that stupid like I just wish like fitness could be fun fitness for fun I feel like if I got engaged with something that was like fun and active and a little bit silly that I would enjoy it enough to stick with it and I'm so sad I tweeted the post I keep meaning to delete this tweet actually because the person who originally made the post deleted it I don't even understand why it was so cool it was a video 
I mean, I guess maybe they deleted it because they were kind of like making fun of the people in the video, which was really annoying because this was honestly the coolest thing. So somebody took, it's not like a Vine, maybe it's like an Insta video or a Snapchat video because it seemed kind of long. It looks like a vine, but vine is dead. So there was like two people literally, it was like they had it chore choreographed. They were like fighting with lightsabers in like a movie theater parking lot. And my mind was blown that there's just people out there doing this and it looked so fun. But I guess the person who made the tweet was kind of being a jerk about it and was like, there's really nerds out here fighting with lightsabers. <laughs> I'm like, why are you knocking somebody? Like they're just having fun for real. And like, honestly, if somebody can coordinate light lightsaber fights in a parking lot like nothing but respect nothing but respect i'm like let people live okay somebody wants to fight with a lightsaber let them live it's not hurting you but those are all my thoughts for the day i'll see you guys in 11 hours when this video can be uploaded um it's just been a mess lately i don't know i'm really disappointed in myself that i did not succeed with vlogmas but vlogmas is so much harder than vlogween you guys but i think we're definitely going to be able to do every single day in February because I feel like things will just be calmer like there's not a lot of other activities going on and then I'm like oh my gosh like I've got like some friends coming in on Christmas Eve and I'm like how am I gonna get everything done I don't know are you guys dealing with this too or are you like last minute just doing everything wish me luck that this video will upload i love you guys i miss you guys i'm sorry to fail vlogmas and i'm sorry to let you guys down i promise you the next video is gonna be amazing as soon as i can get swamp family mail up i will see you guys tomorrow i i hope i'm seeing you guys now i hope that i can get this video to upload but thank you guys so so much i love y'all and i will see y'all tomorrow hopefully bye